Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another Skyrim tutorial video and in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can use the Skyrim Together Reborn mod through Mod Organizer 2, so let's get right into it. First of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the Skyrim Together Reborn mod for uh, Skyrim Special Edition and Anniversary Edition and uh, along with it you need to download the address library which is a requirement for this mod. It is another mod and you download it quite quickly. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, this is how you actually enable it. Uh, so uh, once you actually download and install these mods, make sure you check both of them off and make sure that the address library is uh, before Skyrim together in the load order. And once that's done, you need to do one more step before you actually play. You do not use the script extender launcher for this. Uh, Skyrim together reborn comes with its own launcher. And what you're going to want to do is go into the exe menu, go to edit, and go to add from file through the plus icon. You're going to want to find your uh, mod organizer mod file like this and go into mods. And when you once you go here, you're going to want to locate Skyrim Together Reborn. Uh, and Skyrim Together Reborn should be here. Just enter that. And what you're going to want to do is go again into Skyrim Together Reborn. And as you can see here, you have both the server and the uh, client exe. Uh, you want to add the client and then you can play it yourself. The server just means that you open up your own server on your own IP address. I think you need to forward your port uh, for this to actually work, but that's a different topic. But yeah, just choose this, click open, and now it's added. Click apply. And as you can see, I have these Skyrim Together launcher here. What you're going to want to do when you actually launch the game is just load up any game and you can press right control or F2 to enter the menu. And from here, you can uh, enter servers, uh, start a, your own server, enter public servers or private servers, and generally use options for the mod uh, when you're playing. So yeah, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys in another video.